Welcome to my channel folks. I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom dashboard like the one that you are seeing now. Here I have created six different dashboards. One is for an S3 bucket size which lists out the size of the objects that are in my bucket and then I have a backup triggers whether today's backup has been happened or not and I also have a lambda invocations which keeps me aware of how many lambdas I have triggered on a particular week or a month. And then I also have another volume count, which tells me whether the volume cleanup failures are happening or not. Say, for example, I have an automated cleanup process and I want to be notified whenever there is a failure of volume to be cleaned up, then I will get a notification here. And then I also have an EBS volume write-offs, that is number of write operations that is happening in my EBS volume. And if there is a sudden spike, I want to investigate them. All I have to do is come here and then just select a time frame, which is of uh, my interest, and then look at which volume is having high IO. And then if I go to the volume itself, I can have more information about the volume. Likewise, I have a T2 burst credit balance uh, metric that is shown up here. And then if I want to investigate which uh, instance is having more CPU consumption at any point in time, and I will also look at whether I need to modify it or not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can create your own dashboard, which looks something like that. So let us get back to my actual dashboard. So this was the dashboard that you were seeing earlier in full screen mode. If you go to actions, you will get to the full screen mode. But let us start with the basics. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new dashboard now. Under actions, you will have an option of doing that. Go to new dashboard and I'm going to say custom dash demo. So we need to pick up some widgets or the items of our interest. So the first thing is, let us go ahead and pick up S3 and I'm just going to choose S3 here, scroll down and then you'll find S3 here. And then let us go ahead and click on storage metrics and I'm going to be interested on the bucket sizes. So I'm just going to filter by that. So it's more easy for me to pick up. So I'm just going to pick one bucket here and then let us say I want to change it into a number so that I will have a good looking number there. And then I'm going to choose another bucket also there. So if you want, you can have a custom name here. Let us call this S3 object sizes. Let us click on create widget. And for each of those widgets, you will now have an option to resize it. Oh, and there are some default sizes and you can also set it to auto refresh or you want it uh, for a different time frame and how you want to set up the widget itself. So it is completely customizable. If you want to have a bigger size, if there is a line chart, you can do that. So let me go ahead and do one more. Let us say call it as a line chart again and click on configure. This time I'm going to create one for Lambda and I wanted to do it for all invocations. So I'm just going to call it as invocations and you can see here already it is lining up I'm just going to call it as lambda invocations. Click on create widget. So like this you can keep on growing and if you have a professional support enabled in your account, the number of metrics that you see in your account will be more than what I'm seeing here and you will be able to customize it. And let me just go ahead and do it for EC2 and then we will go ahead and see how to make it into a better looking window. So let us go ahead and do that EC2 and for instance metrics and I want CPU credit balance only. So I'm going to select all the instances, click on create widget and there goes my CPU credit balance chart. I'm just going to drag it down so that I should be able to resize it to the size I want. Let us say I want to make it into two sizes now. So if I go to full screen mode now, and if I make it into a dark theme, it is more easier for me to look at this charts at a darker theme and able to focus on how 
on which EC2 instance is having more CPU and I can easily identify the one that is underperforming and look at improving the performance. And this also helps your L1 team to focus on items which needs highest importance rather than looking at the whole alerts or events that is happening in your account. Hope this helps to improve your operational excellence. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.